How are we doing out there? First things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Luminous 4K Screen Paint using the Ambulite Rejection Technology Game Times 2 and 3. Uh, keep in mind, those some people have been asking, are we designing anything new? No, 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 no. These are just kits that we're making to make it a lot more easier for you to be able to, be able to design the perfect screen. Now, uh, keep in mind, uh, we were talking about for a while, we're bringing out a 235.1 kit, and this is my screen right here. At 100, I think it's 138, I got to measure 138 um, at the 235.1, and it's coated with the gamer paint. Over here we have styrofoam. I got to do my gray screens too, because I haven't done any of them, so I got to do a couple of those. Just my styrofoam screen, and then over there is a 169 uh, aluminum fixed frame screen that was white. That is actually using gamer paint also. So, uh, up on the ceiling, this right here is a screen I had for quite some time. I just never got around to marketing the screen because I've been really, really busy. Uh, this right here is a form of dedicated ceiling paint. It was designed for uh, people who have dedicated home theaters or whether you're going to be using this for um, uh, commercial use, whether you're going to be using this for um, for background scenery or whatever you're going to use for concerts and so forth. This technology was designed so you, for people who didn't want to basically go through the painstaking nightmare or expensive nightmare of actually, it's not saying it's a nightmare, but very expensive, um, to cut up their ceiling in order to put optic fiber lighting in. And, you know, this basically will give you that effect with no problem whatsoever. You can pretty much take a short throw projector and you can connect it right up. Well, actually, it's a short, yeah, short throw. But you can take an ultra short throw and connect it right up on the corner. And this thing will project an image right up on top of your ceiling. Now, keep in mind, you can have all your lights on and everything. And you don't have to worry about the screen uh, um, um, washing out or fading. As you can see, I got lights actually in the screen. With all the lights on. So I'm using my short throw projector. Uh, this projector is step right on the remote control. Right directly on the remote. I'm gonna stop leaving things on the floor. This projector is 3200 lumens. Um, it is 720p, and the projector is um, WXGA. Now, the larger screen, too, going back and forth, the larger screen right here, you see right here, that is my 235.1. This is a blackout cloth that comes with it. Now, keep in mind with your kit, it will be available in one quart or two quarts, depending on the size of the blackout cloth. The blackout cloth will start off at 61 inches and all the way up to 14 to 15 inches, depending on your kit. That will be starting somewhere on the 22nd. So those kits will be available. A lot of people asking me for 235.1 setup. And now you got the blackout cloth already set up for that. So there's my screen right here. I have to build it first before I can sell it because I have to know whether this stuff is going to work. And trust me, working with this blackout cloth was a freaking dream. Very easy to apply. Now, getting back to the ceiling uh, over here. Uh, first things first, I'm going to start the demonstration. What if I got it set up at right here? So you can see, even in a fully lit environment, that screen's gonna pull up. And keep in mind, it only comes in black. We are working on a clear. We did have a clear at one point, but it was under a crystal edge. This was under crystal edge technology. This is gonna be converted over to luminous. So this right here is luminous technology, the ambient light rejection technology out right of top of the ceiling. But like I said, we're gonna convert the clear into the um into the um uh, aluminous technology all right so let's drop some of the lights here start with these these and ones in the back so you can see how beautiful this is going to look Lay on the floor. Come up here and lay down. That's why I've had my vest here on the floor. So I can lay down. Show you from a point of view. If you're sitting in your chair and you decide to look up at the ceiling, what you are getting, or what it looks like. Now, I've had this technology before. I have, I have older videos on it, but like I said, never got a chance to launch in it. I'm very busy. But I think it's time we get it out on the market because I've had a lot of people asking for this. 
So now I'm going to make it a possibility, possible. Make sure my lights are on. Bring our lights are on. There's another switch. I've got switches back here I'm reaching for. There we go. Wrong switch. Come back here and lay down again. And you can see even with the lights on, it doesn't affect the screen at all because this is using the ambient light rejection technology gain times three. And I know, clean the camera lens. <laughs> I have no time to clean my camera lens, to be honest, and probably too lazy to do it anyway. Just have too much on my plate as it is. But anyway, so check this out. I have some people come to my channel and nitpick over the smallest little things. Smallest little things. All right, this is really relaxing, to tell you the truth. I love watching fish. Fish, jellyfish, whatever it may be, it relaxes me. All right. <sighs> That looks absolutely gorgeous. All right, let me see. I would like to have more stars than that. Looking for a star field. Let me see how cool that looks. That's the lights right in the ceiling. It's not going to affect the screen at all whatsoever. All right, hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. I'll probably have some more videos on this later on the day. I'm Kent Bird from Illuminous 4K Screen Paint using Ambulite Rejection Technology Game Times 2 and 3. Uh, we're going to uh, be doing some more demonstrations on this. Also, too, I'll be doing some more demonstrations uh, probably on, um, probably on, uh, uh, yeah, also to the the bigger screen to that great big um the 235.1. I'll definitely be doing more demonstrations on that right there also. Oh, I got a really cool, I got a good idea. I got a really insane idea. Just something just popped right up in my head too. I'm gonna put something on here really cool. Hold on for a minute. If I can remember how I had it written down, let's see. Here we go. I gotta do this one. I have to do this one. This is gonna look pretty cool. All right. Try to get over here. Lay down for this one. This is gonna be cool.
looking for. With that being said, I'm gonna get out of here real quick. Some other ideas, one minute. Right, one more, one more. down for this one. And it shows you how much light this technology can take in, right up on the ceiling. Fade, doesn't wash out. All right, that's pretty cool. Now, I gotta go over and I have to try it with the lights out. So I'm gonna go back a minute. Let's try this. I should have took the lights out first. All right. There we go. That's freaking cool. I think that's freaking cool. All right, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna do some other videos. I might do next a 3D asteroid feel. That just popped into my head just a few minutes ago. Would be to do a 3D asteroid feel. All right, again, I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. I am Kenneth Bird from Illuminous 4K Screen Paint using ambient light projection technology game times two and three. I gotta get out of here. Thank you all again. And like I said, the paint will be launching very soon. Um, Sorry about that. Cut that out. Just it off. The paint will be launching very soon. Thank you all for your time and.